Hey everyone, welcome back to another wellness prep workout video. If you're new, I'm Shayla and I'm going to be competing in my very first wellness show this fall. By the time you all see this video, I will be about 10 weeks out, which is super exciting. These weeks are flying by. So in this video, I am going to be focusing on quads, glutes, and hamstrings. So right now, I am just getting warmed up and I'm making sure my body is nice and loose and I'm warming up the muscle groups that I'll be working out throughout the workout. So I need to make sure my quads, my glutes, and my hamstrings, as well as like my hips, are nice and loose. Before I started these mobility exercises, I did do about 10 minutes of cardio. And once I'm finished warming up, I'm then going to go into some glute activation, which is just simply me warming up my butt muscles. And that's important because I want to make sure that I get the most out of the exercises that I'll be doing throughout my workout. So right now, I complete about six days of weight training. Three of those days are upper body, three days are lower body, and then I incorporate four days of cardio throughout the week as well. And for my cardio, I typically do about 25 minutes, which isn't bad because last year I got up to two hours of cardio and I never wanna go back to that again. So I'm trying really hard to stay on track with my meals, my workouts, so that way my coach does not up my cardio because that was miserable. After I finished five sets of 20 reps of the banded hip thrust, I then moved into cable kickbacks and I completed three sets of 15 reps on each leg. I'm really starting to notice changes in my physique now. I feel like I'm much leaner than the previous weeks, which is exciting. Um, but I will say I still have a lot of weight to lose because I am currently 148 pounds and for stage I believe I need to be around 128 129 that's my coach's goal so we will see how that goes I'm just taking it one day at a time I'm not rushing it Now I'm going into my superset. I started off on the leg extensions. I did 20 reps, and then you're gonna see me move into a sissy squat and complete 15 reps of those. My quads were a little bit sore from a previous workout that I did earlier in the week, so I wasn't able to go as heavy as I wanted to, so I just pushed myself as hard as I could. But again, I didn't wanna hurt myself, so I had to back down a little bit.
Now it's time for the sissy squats and I didn't need any weight. Honestly, going from leg extensions to body weight squats was enough. What I'm doing here is I'm just comparing my physique because sometimes I don't feel like I'm making progress, but I am. So in the top right hand corner, that video is from 13 weeks out. And so I'm starting to notice a difference in my physique. I'm definitely leaning out. And I'm also noticing more definition in my hamstrings. My glutes are a lot more lifted. What I'm doing here are elevated sumo squats with the kettlebells and I like to put plates underneath my feet or stand on, on some type of box just because it allows me to go a little bit deeper in my squat and I feel it more in my glutes. Now it's time for some lying hamstring curls. So I like to do single leg exercises. It really helps because one, it's challenging and two, it corrects any imbalances that I might have. So if one leg is stronger than the other, doing a single leg exercise will help to correct that. And you are gonna see me struggle because these were not easy. Under one of my previous videos, someone asked me if I had any tips on pushing past the burn because it is challenging and I get it. So whenever I do feel the pain start to creep up and the burn start to really kick in, I'll first just concentrate. I find a non-moving object and I focus on it. I concentrate on the muscle group that I'm working and I'll typically will close my eyes. It just helps me to really zone out and forget about anything else that's going on and to keep going. I also will count backwards. So if I'm doing 20 reps, I'll count the first 10 reps up and then I'll count the last 10 reps down. So I'll go like one, two, three, all the way to 10. And then I'll go 10, nine, eight, all the way down to one. And for me mentally, that just helps me to keep going when I feel like giving up. And the last thing I do is I breathe. I never stop breathing. And I know breathing can be a little bit challenging because you might not know when to inhale, when to exhale, but the easiest way to remember it is whenever you're exerting force, that's when you exhale. So if you are doing a leg curl, like what I'm doing right here, whenever I curl my leg up, I breathe out and then I inhale when my leg comes down because that's the easiest part of the exercise. But getting the weight up towards my butt is a lot more challenging, so I exhale. So breathing is key. It will make the exercise a lot more tolerable. I'm not gonna say easy, but it will make it more manageable for you to get through the exercise that, or exercises that you're trying to complete. By the time I got to the V squats, I was pretty tired, but I had another superset to do. And this superset includes the V squat, which is what I'm doing now. So I completed 20 reps, and then I moved into some narrow leg presses, which you'll see in just a second. And I completed 15 to 20 reps of those because those got pretty heavy. After I finish my supersets, I'll take about a two minute break and then repeat it. I have to take a decent amount of rest time because if I start too soon, then I won't get in quality reps. I'll end up stopping in the middle of my exercises a lot more than usual. So with the leg press, my goal is to target my quads. So my legs are narrow, so they're about hip distance apart.
and in just a second you're gonna see me do another set this time I added on an extra plate because I felt like I could do more I wasn't able to get up to 20 reps, but I did get 15 reps in. And now I'm just finishing up with some RDLs. I completed three sets of 10 reps, but that is it. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you're competing as well, good luck. I know it's not easy, but the key is just to be patient with yourself. Be patient with your progress and try to stay focused. Take it one day at a time. You got this.